The SimplyCast platform integrates with a number of CRMs. When you integrate a CRM with our platform, contact data will be transferred between the two, so you can easily do your marketing and communication with our tools. Just open the account information menu by clicking your account number in the top right corner and select integrations from the sidebar. This is the integrations marketplace page. All of the platforms you see are ones we currently integrate with. If you don't see the CRM you're looking for, head to the CRM marketplace on our website and place a request for the one you want. If the CRM you want is here, just click install. Most of these integration installation processes work the same, but a few, like Shopify, require some extra steps. When the installation modal pops up, click on the How to Install link in the bottom left corner to read about any special steps you may have to take. For this video, we're just going to do a basic integration though. Once you read over the information, click Install to proceed. Each integration will require some form of credentials, whether it's an access token, CRM URL, or username and password. You have to get those from your CRM and enter them in our system for the integration to work. Once you enter this information, you can start to create the active connections between the two systems. Click Create and name your connection. Next, choose if you want to synchronize your contacts or leads from your CRM. Click Create once you're done. Now, you're able to pick what processing interval you want between the two systems. The interval is how often the two systems will update each other on any changes in your data. You can pick what you like, but we're going to have it update each day. Also, you have to create and name a new destination to store this data in. Now, you have to do some field mapping. Fields that you map to each other will update based on the interval you set. The source columns are pulled from the CRM you're integrating with. A large number of columns are going to be the same between systems and are automatically matched, like this email address column. The simply cast columns are fields that the data you are pulling will be stored in. You can use the drop-down menu to pick the appropriate one, or create a new column type if the one you need isn't there. If the new column is a date, make sure to select that option from the drop-down menu. The data flow shows which way the data is syncing. The default is for it to synchronize the data between the two systems, but you can change it to import only, export only, or ignore. Notice how the data flow icon changes based on what type of synchronization you pick. Once you're done syncing all of your fields, click complete and the connection will save. Now you're back at your integration screen. You can see the connection you made here and its status, which is currently active. If you want to disable the connection, just click on it and click the Disable button. You can also delete and edit your connection if you want. If you have more data that needs syncing, just create another connection.